This is Will with Cigar Coop. I'm at the 2012 IPCPR trade show. I'm here with Brian Chinook, the owner of Chinook Cellars. Uh, Brian's got a really unique uh, style company in the cigar business, and we're happy to have Brian take a few moments to talk about his company and his line of cigars. So, Brian, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thanks, Will. Thanks for dropping by the booth. Awesome. So, uh, Brian, give me a little background on um, how you got into the cigar business. Well, uh, I'm a winemaker in Napa Valley, California. I've been doing that for about uh, 33 years now. And what I, my dream was to actually always make a, a cigar brand. So I uh, got together with some, uh, some great people in the industry to help me uh, get started. Uh, likes of uh, Carlito Fuentes and others uh, brought me together. And uh, we, we decided to start a cigar brand uh, three years ago. We, Kept the name very similar, Chenick Cellar Cigars, uh, to, to differentiate between the wine and the uh, and the cigar. And we, I, what I wanted to do is bring the technology of the cigar, of the wine industry, into the cigar industry. Uh, and some of the things that we've done, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, that was really my goal all along, and, and my dream uh, to do that. Excellent. So, uh, Brian, tell us a little about the line. Sure. Uh, so our, our line from uh, last year, uh, Will was our uh, our the state blend uh, cigar, which is actually designed to go with a big red wine Cabernet and Merlot. So obviously, being a winemaker from Napa Valley, I have my uh, knowledge of how to blend uh, wonderful grapes together to make wonderful wines, and I use that same uh, that palette to create with uh, with the help of Willie Herrera, who's now with Drew Estates. Uh, he's still my master blender to create the uh, the ter- oh, excuse me the uh, estate line. Uh, the the blend is very consistent uh, throughout the smoke, so that it doesn't overpower the wine, and the cigar, uh, uh, the, the wine doesn't underpower the uh, cigar. Uh, it's very, uh, very smooth, very elegant. A lot of, a lot of smoke, uh, medium body, uh, all the way through, and very consistent, very spicy. Uh, got a great flavor pro- profile to handle uh, a nice, uh, big red tannic wine. What can you tell us about the blend? Uh, it is. Uh, uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican, uh, with a double Nicaraguan binder and a, uh, uh, me, a uh, Ecuadorian uh, Cubano seed uh, wrapper. Uh, it is uh, aged for about uh, three to six months in a uh, in French oak barrels, and uh, we store those uh, unwrapped for se- several months in the barrels, and then they're they're actually packaged in cellophane and put in these uh, beautiful uh, boxes of tin. <coughs> We do everything in a, in a tin pack now. Uh, be, uh, in this line, we've got all four sizes. I'm only showing to you the, the Corona uh, and the Torpedo. We also have a Toro and the Robusto in our state line. Excellent, excellent. Very nice packaging, man. So uh, we'll move over and look at the, um, this is the Terroir. This is the Terroir. Uh, so this is something that I've been wanting to do for over three years now. My The technology of, uh, actually the, the, you know, the technology in the wine business I wanted to bring into the cigar business, and I always wanted to do that with a metal band. So we produced, for the first time, this is, uh, no one's ever done this, a actual metal band for the cigar. This is not something that's a, a napkin ring. This is actually a produced band that uh, is put on just like a paper band would be put on. Uh, it is made out of, uh, of tin metal with a, uh, a pewter uh, overlay, and it's got a beautiful... Uh, insert here, uh, which is a, a wax paper insert that allows the cigar band to be taken easily right. off the cigar so it doesn't bind the cigar, uh, it doesn't chafe it, it does not uh, pull the wrapper away uh, when you want to take the band off. So a lot of technology involved in this, but we, we took that from the wine industry here, which is actually uh, the capsule of the, uh, the foil capsule that's on top of the bottles. We use the same type of uh, material and technology to, uh, to create this band. Oh, that's, that, that's amazing. So, so with that, we uh, created terroir. Terroir meaning from the earth or a, a place of being on the earth. It's a, uh, it's a term that's used in the wine industry to really describe where the grapes come from, the, the areas that they come from in the, a certain region. So even in Napa Valley, certain regions around the, uh, the Napa Valley, they all have their own special terroir. So you may be in the, uh, the Stag's Leap area of uh, Napa Valley, but each one of those areas in uh, even the Stag's Leap area have a different terroir. Just like tobacco growing, if you're in Esteli, there's areas around that Esteli that are absolutely different from each other. So one uh, uh, growing area in, uh, in Esteli is going to be different from another. Another area in Dominican is going to be different from another. Even in Cuba, they have terroir. It depends on where the soils are, the climate, where the uh, uh, 
how the sun exposure hits it, the mountains, the river flowing, the, how the soil is, all creates a terroir and how the, the, the flavors of the tobaccos come through to, uh, to the smoke, just like in wine. Uh, so we created this line uh, that is going to be unique and different. We're going to actually change this blend every single year. It's going to be a, a, I wouldn't call it a limited edition, but it's actually going to be a, a yearly edition, uh, more like a vintage of a, of a wine. Every year Excellent. it's going to be different. Excellent. Uh, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take what we've, uh, what we've had. Willie Herrera and I will, will blend it again. Uh, and then for next year, 2013, we'll have the 2013 vintage release of uh, that cigar. So this will, the uh, estate will stay consistent. Uh, this is an excellent blend. We're going to keep that uh, in our line. And then the terroir will be something unique and different every year. So, so somebody can look forward to like a, a bottle of uh, nice Napa Valley wine. They look forward to that next year. That's always unique and different. Excellent. What can you tell us about the uh, blend of the cigar? So in this cigar, uh, uh, Nicaraguan and Dominican uh, on the filler uh, also. Uh, the wrapper is a uh, Nicaraguan also. And in this case, we use a, a Connecticut uh, De Ferrado, uh wrapper. Uh, from Ecuador. Uh, the wrapper was very creamy, uh, very buttery. This uh, cigar has got an incredible flavor profile. So I told Willie, I said, I want a cigar that I like, that I want to make uh, for the industry. Something that's creamy, that's got a butter, uh, a nutty flavor to it with a nice uh, spice back. That's exactly what we created here. We spent about a year uh, trying to get this blend just right, and we've done that with Terroir. So this is the 2012 Terroir release. What are the sizes going to offer on that? In this size, what, uh, what we're showing here, uh, we're going to only offer this uh, in the Toro and the uh, Torpedo. Uh, we're going to keep it to this size. Uh, we, we may do something different in the future. For what we're really concerned about is the packaging uh, and the consistency. So being all uh, 6 by 52s uh, we keep the packaging the same. Uh, there's some technology challenges with this box, the fact that the, the ring is slightly uh, thicker than, than paper, but not much. It, uh, it feels very elegant and there's not much weight into it, but it creates a mechanical problem with how do you keep the, car, the cigars from, from umbrelling, if you will, uh, with space. We actually put cedar spacings between each one of the cigars. When you open the box, um, you'll slightly see a cedar spacer between the cigars just to keep the, uh, the space difference so the cigars line up correctly. Excellent. One thing unique that we do that uh, pretty much no other cigar maker can do because they're all rolling in teams, they're rolling in huge factories, is that each uh, uh, roller at uh, El Titan de Bronze or El Don de Bronze uh, in Miami, Florida, where my cigars are rolled, each different roller makes a different size cigar. So in this case, uh, this, is, this is the what we call the roller's card. It tells them uh, what the roller's name is. Uh, he's got a signature, his photograph. And also then uh, describes where he came from. In this case, he's a level nine roller from, uh, actually came from Partagas uh, in Cuba. He's now rolling in the factory uh, at El Titan de Bronze. And uh, he uh, is very, uh, you know, about the finest roller uh, that you can get from uh, from Cuba. They're all level nine rollers there in the, in the factory. So each one does something different size, uh, be it the, uh, the torpedo here. Uh, likewise with the estate uh, blend, each one is rolled differently. Yeah, it's a very uh, unique and personal touch. I know you've been probably one of the first that I've seen to do that, so that's a very... Uh... Yeah, it's, it gives it that personal touch, and, uh, and if there's ever a problem with a cigar, you can, you can literally call me up and say, listen, Pedro didn't roll my cigar right, <laughs> and I can, I can take that cigar and say, Pedro, what happened here? And so it's, uh, it just makes it a more personal touch, and at least you can let you know that somebody is caring about that cigar for you, make it a, the finest quality that they can make. Excellent, excellent. So, Brian, I mean, um, tell, you know, you've really, in terms of connecting the wine and the cigars, I mean, uh, you've done an amazing job there. So you, you definitely have a pulse on both of the industries. Thank you. From a cigar standpoint, um, what are you seeing happening in the industry right now? Well, uh, I'm, I think there's a trend now that the uh, uh, smaller producers like myself, the, the ultra boutiques, if you will, uh, there's, there's a... There's a Resurrection of, of those, uh, you know, the big industry, the big makers are out there uh, doing a fantastic job, uh, keeping our clients happy, the retailers happy. But I think some of the retailers are now setting up uh, specialized areas just for boutiques, and I think they recognize the quality of boutiques and the the, the, the really high quality, the premium quality that boutiques bring to the marketplace. And that's what we're trying to do: we're finding niches, we're trying to find those retailers that uh, believe in, in boutiques and uh, want to keep it going. So I think that's going to be the change. There was a great turnout last night at the. Uh, 
boutique show uh, last night that uh, you and I were at last night, and I think it's been a good day. Excellent. Well, Brian, um, I hope you uh, have a great show. Yeah, I appreciate it. And uh, really appreciate you taking a few minutes to talk to us. Uh, this is Brian Chinook. The company is Chinook Seller Cigars. This is some really good stuff, and um, I encourage everyone to check it out. So thank you very much. Great. Thanks, Will. Thanks, guys.